We're back, y'all. Oh, yeah, we're doing something you tell We're doing something different. Yeah, part right. two. Yeah. Yeah. So you're talking about... Uh, I said as I left Linda and the crabs. Right, okay, continue. So, I stopped by to see Cody. He's down and out. Like, he yeah. leaves me a text. I just really need somebody to talk to. Yeah. It's the middle of the day. You're not home from work. Right. I'm not doing anything with him, so I go to see him. I knew his grandma was in the hospice. I go up there, and he's like... <laughs> anyway, I go up there to see him, but, yeah. but before he even gets there, yeah. I text him, because I get Wi-Fi at his house. Yeah. I call him, actually. He's like, I'll be there. Yeah. I'll be there. Ten minutes. Me, Jesus, just passed up. Whatever it is on, uh, in Huntersville, whatever. Yeah. I said, all right. And his grandma pulled up. I'm listening. Seriously, no coincidence, but Zeppelin. On my Bluetooth, I had got my backpack. It's easy to carry. At least I got Wi-Fi doing YouTube, whatever I want. Now, Linda, to break the ice, she's, I said, well, I said, hey, first of all, how are you doing? Because she's looking out. Because she's better. This is dealing with it. It's a Bible Belt thumping woman like oh, my yeah. mom who's picking up chunks and you know what? Yeah. And like yeah. smoke. And be like, here, <laughs> I wouldn't give it to you, but you're an asshole when you don't have it. Right. You just made a Christian woman pass. Thanks a lot. Right. Knock off. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, wow. So I said, Linda, how are you doing? All right, by the way, this same woman who said this, I'm getting with my family, me, me, Chris, and Garmin. Yeah. We're at the movie theater. I see her because she works there incessantly. Yeah. You know, and Cody reminds her all the time, I'm getting a house in the wheel anyway. <laughs> anyway, go <grandma>, off, fuck off. Fuck, <laughs> you get out of that goddamn way. Yeah. Harv, I know this, this, is the, this is the unedited part, too, by the way. Yeah. But I'm just telling the truth. This is life, true life stuff. And then I'll tell you about the bathroom here in a minute. So, I'm like, shit, by the way, I see her at the booth there, and I'm like, I saw that Cody, Cody told me he was going out of town to see his other grandma. I hope it, you know, she didn't say she went, well, I hope his ass stays up there. Right. Suit me just fine if he never comes back. She rips her tickets up there. <laughs> Chris was like, what? Chris was like, taking a bite. My baby yeah. brother, he was like, is that the, the grandma of the, right, the yeah. steel wheels? I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's Chris, it is. <laughs> he's like, man, she hated him like me. He treats her like shit. He's like, come on, he, she <laughs> ain't 25 hours, go get some breakfast, you know? Oh, you know, you ain't good. You know, like, give yeah. me a break. Yeah. You know, I mean, that, and I'm not knocking it. Give to it. If you have extra money, give to Shriners. Right. Yeah. Duh. With the kids that yeah, the advertise on there. Burn, the burn charity. Exactly. Burn, yeah. And what's his name? Danny Thomas. Yeah, man. We started. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's true. Sure. But that if that one kid who has 80% physical disabilities, who does the adorable, but they're even doing a new commercial now. Like these kids, like there's no. Oh, that's, but that's a different uh, organization. What is it? Oh, God. oh goodness. That's, that's what I'm thinking of. That's the, St. Jude's. St. Jude's. That's what I'm thinking of, Steve. Shriners are good as well. Yes, absolutely. But St. But St. Jude's. That's Danny Thomas. Yeah, they're it? very good, yeah, man. Yeah, but but, but, those, but what my point is, if you have yeah. that, you have, and I'm not making fun, but you have the 80s kid star Corky. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We played the character Corky. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, there's no limit. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, oh, oh, bloody yeah. Goes Life goes on. on. La, 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 goes cool on. Yeah, yeah, the great awesome. show, man. Perfect. He's yeah. actually the head of the Down Syndrome Association. Has an office in New York City now. Right. Living in an apartment on his own. I saw an yes. update on him on yes. YouTube. Yeah, yeah, so great, you know. Oh, yeah. Like, there's one girl now who's like oh, 15 right. or 16 who has Down Syndrome. Yeah. Who is becoming uh, basically I know, a supermodel. I, I know, but, but, you know, it was like the laundromat and the uh, rejoice, rejoice. You have your in twist. You have your in between. You have your full blown, and then you have your touch up. Your in between. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In between. You like that? Dude. Oh yeah, I know. As they say, I hope this stays. As they say in the south. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. you know, you have your touch up. You know, oh, yeah. yeah. You have your wrap a little too tight, and you're fully dropped as a baby. Oh, you know? yeah, so yeah. your difference, your oh, degrees yeah. of. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, happy Halloween! Yeah, man, yeah, it just yeah. looks so the pump, cool. The pumpkin, boom, boom, up, boom. Up, uh, yeah. The no, great my, pumpkin in the sky. Yeah, my friend Ray, Ray Maxwell. Yeah, Props what, to what, Ray. What was that, what was that Saturday night? The last hoorah. Last hoorah in yeah. the Carolinas. Yeah, he's gonna bail the. the next hoorah will be in California. Yeah, in 2021. 2021. Yeah. 
So look out, Suzanne, we're coming at you. Yeah, I'm gonna meet you. <laughs> yep, and then we're gonna go to Lovells and blow up. Oh boy. I'm hoping to meet the whole family. I'll be on my best day. Oh, yeah. Of course, well, I won't be like this. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be sober, yeah. Of course. No, well, yeah, I hey, might be stoned. Well, I don't know. Yeah. No, I might not be. But, yeah. That's uh, sometimes true. I have yoga and I have out of body experience. Right, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. But, no, so, what's the workload for tomorrow? Got to, you know, like, we have one and another one. And I got to call it. Yeah, Stitch and Rollins Detail. Yeah. Stitch and Rollins Detail. RS. S and R. S and R, sorry. Yeah, yeah S and R. Yeah. Hey, first it was just gonna be Stinson. I didn't even, right, think, yeah. I didn't even want him to put me. Oh, it yeah. didn't matter to me. Yeah. And then he was like, "No, we gotta do this right." Yeah. Stinson Ross detail. Oh, yeah. Best detail because we learn from the best detail. Well, of course. Yeah, I have the shirt. Yeah. Oh yeah. Forever Hoopers. Yeah. Good God, Eddie. Good God, Eddie. You, you, you know, you, make, got... you charge the way more than I do, boy. Oh, I wish I'd done that years ago. Oh. Try to tell Sarge yeah. and Mr. McIntosh. Hey, it's twenty instead of twenty-five. Your yeah. basic's forty-five. Right. Just basic. Well, you guys, know, you guys met at the lot of night. You were talking about. Oh yeah. Like, and Ronnie kind of gave me all that. He, he, he. he yeah. I got. Remember that day that I talked to him? Yeah. Here's yeah. how we met. Yeah. Here's how we really met. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Mavis had come to the door, and was running his mouth. Right. I. I hear you say something to him, and by the way, great, great song, great right. song. Well, keep yeah. talking. Anyway, I hear you tell us something, he gets smart with you. Then all of a sudden, actually why he went out there was, VJ had come down there and they were about to get into it. And right. he said something smart to him, and I'm like, oh God, Steve, I'm going to go keep right. him from getting killed. Yeah. So I went out there and I just said, man, I'm Steve. He's like, I know who you are. He's like, yeah. I said, man, just... Although, and I said it right in front of Mavis. I said, although you just feel like just crumbling him up like a tin foil or like a can, beer can. Oh, yeah, be easy. So I said, just be easy. He's yeah. drunk. I said, otherwise, maybe she'd get you. And I was doing that. Otherwise, you'd get your ass right now. Oh, yeah. Jackass, get in there. I so, know. And he was like, I'm going to I didn't know what he was talking or speaking in tongues, and we are in the sound. So he walks in the room, and I'm looking over like, man, don't I say, I know, he's a shot. Mate, we call him pain. At the time, we called him pain. His, his name's progressed. Don't you know, yeah. yeah, it progresses, you know. Right. He earns his name by God. Oh, yeah. You know? And uh, and that's how we met. And then we, like, talk. And then one day, he just goes to the laundromat. Actually, he rode by. I'd be standing outside. Usually, when I go to the laundromat, I'm, I, I, I always go to the laundromat when I'm, I haven't had a cigarette because I'm smoking a house. So when I want a cigarette instead of like, I just walk across and I use them like a cigarette till I get over there and I'll yeah. knock on the door like, and today he was literally coming back from the kangaroo with nachos, drink, and some, oh, wow. and some salt, like salsa. Yeah. And I'm like, hey Chubbs, before you start gnawing down on that, yeah. you know, chalupa thing you're about to eat, I said, right. come outside for a minute. And he said, why, why bored? Yeah. It's chilly. I'm like, yeah. ah, that, well, that layer of fat you got on Rejoice the Joys, you're not cold. It wasn't that cold. Today. No, it Damn. wasn't. Oh, you could have told Pop off that. Of course, his blood's thick, so he oh, of course, yeah, yeah. 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 No. A butterfly lands on him, he bleeds. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And then, he, and then Blondie's getting mad because he's trying to wrap her up. I'm like, man, we're not on the south side of the shelf of Everest. <laughs> we're just not. We're just now starting to try to break the fall. Man, I know. We, we haven't even hit fall weather yet. You know. I know, man. It's nice right now. I mean, I didn't know we were following people going up. Well, it's, well, it's gonna be a warm Halloween. Oh yeah. 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 And yeah, then yeah. The, the nighttime lows have they haven't hit that. Oh, it's comfortable. Yeah. You know, I'm, there's no fan in the window. All yeah. right. Yeah, you know. Yeah. It's just great, this song, man. Right. It, it ain't your most rocking. Well, to me, it is. But in, in your tip, it's just the vocals, the, oh, the yeah. drums, the, the guitar, the, just everything, the bass, every, everything about it. The song itself. Yeah, it, and then, that's what I'm saying. The tune, the song itself, it's like, it's, it'd be Mozart's rock and roll. Right. Brahms. Yeah. So what's going to happen after that? Yeah. Uh, I would still be loving you. Chopping. Chopin. 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 Droops. Yeah, droops. I'm from the south. I know. I was, I was watching something the other day. Some, some comedian in the background. A guy with a drum and, you know. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, uh, kind of like your early Carson. A snare when drum he would, and, and a cymbal. Yeah. That's all it was, you know. You know, Just, what the hell was I watching? That's your bank. Well, Carson used to do that. You know that, right? Right. No, but, but this was like a... Then you had Letterman, but you also had to put up with Paul Shaver's asshole his ass and eyes. Oh, and then he'd basically say, shut up, Paul. That little bald idiot. I hated him, man. Yeah, me too, man. Even McMahon would just go, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that's right. Oh, you know, yeah. he'd say, that's funny. And that was it. Yeah. Shaver wanted to go, and then that it would little, be so fucking awkward. Yeah. And Oh, sorry. Yeah, well, this is no. the unedited. So uh, awkward. No. That Larry would be like, you know what, Paul, just knock it off. You know, oh, yeah. And then he started playing with Bruce Springsteen's band, right. the E Street yeah, band, yeah, yeah, and it yeah. just, give me a break. But well, you know, I flipped out, I don't know if you ever, in the Mooresville Tribune, in the editorial section, yeah. some guy named Herb Stark is all the time getting his piece put in there. <laughs> and then they, they really nailed him. What, yeah. What happened? You feel me? I'm clueless what well, you're saying. I feel he, this is a guy who Herb obviously Stark, writes. He writes to the paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he puts in his two cents about whatever yeah, he feels about. They, they, What's the topic and subject? I guess. What oh is it? God Almighty! What? No, just tell me what he is. He's like a super conservative or something, liberal, whatever. He's an old fucking fart. Is he? What did they nail him about? Oh, I can't really talk about it because. Okay, okay. Yeah, but, but, but was it like really? Well, it's political. Okay, okay. No, Tell me about it later, but yeah, really? I'll uh, show you the paper tomorrow. Yeah. Were you pleased with the outcome? Yeah. Good, and I would be too. It's like China. It's like the wheels. You know the old adage: the wheels of justice turn yeah. slowly. The wheel of progression in this state turns slowly. One person at a time, Bob. Right. You know what I'm saying? One cog at a time. Exactly. Yeah. It's like you know. And any and in any car, the monkey wrench can be thrown in the middle of it. So oh, of course you can. Yeah. yeah. It's like a turtle getting all the sand in the world yeah. and bringing it across one ocean, yeah. doing it, and then bringing it back. Yeah. You know? it's there you go. That's how long it was today. 2005, one of the last few counties in North Carolina actually was allowed to sell alcohol. <laughs> right. Yeah. Wasn't it? Not to say that the media didn't show up because the local Pentecostals and, and, and Christians yeah. were on their knees praying, Dear God, don't let food line sell Budweiser. Oh, oh, yeah. Meanwhile, there was a massage party going on less than a thousand feet from the main church that was oh. in town. Oh, yeah. And the more they, it was your happy ending, you know, so he's the unedited. Yeah. Oh. I didn't know that until I moved there and the old man I worked for was telling me about it. The guy did roofing me and he's like, you know what, you yeah. should be there anyway. Like, what? Like, and then I heard, you know, you know yeah. he, I met like the old timers over here, like Harold. Yeah. You know, that his brother worked for Gene Autry and uh, uh, Dale, uh, what's the other? Gene Autry and Roy Rogers and Gene Autry. Yeah, yeah. He was his body, uh, in front, oh, yeah, yeah. he was a bodyguard for uh, Roy Rogers and he was a, a, a bodyguard for a for, uh, personal assistant to both of them forever. You know, in fact, Gene Autry's Mercedes sat out in front of my mobile home up in Denver. Yeah. Uh, Harold looks like, literally, he looks like Colonel Sanders' brother incarnated. Right. wears a black cowboy hat, you know, yeah. just like, like, yeah. but not really a cowboy hat, just a hat, you know. Right, it's a hat. He's yeah. got, he's got, actually, B.A. Baracus's whole network of chains on oh, his no chest. Way. Oh, wow. And he, and he drives a nice truck, lives on Lake Norman, yeah. right there, you know, yeah. up in Denver. And he was my landlord. And he, Oh, no. When he told me he was an old man diabetic until one night I was partying in his house, paid rent. Yeah. This is a man who goes and sits at the program house and I paid six hundred five or six hundred dollars rent. I got a discount. It was eight hundred. I, I paid like five hundred. Yeah. And he said, Eddie, this don't this is one hand poker for me. I'm like, Well that's pretty encouraging to me, you know. Yeah. A month's hard work and be paid you by rent is like one hand for you. Yeah. What is it, rag or real? Oh, he's, wow. like, he's like, man, when, he said, every time you pay rent, you pay on time. Come to the house. I said, for what? He said, you and he, and he was always a bad man. He was like, you and he got a house, man. Yeah. I'm no man diabetic, but I've got a little bit of liquor. Stevie had the best liquor, like eclectic liquor storage I've ever seen in my life. I'm like, are you serious? He had a pool table, Lake Norman right there at And it was just us. Nobody bothered this old man because he owned most of the houses where he lived. In fact, I lived like four houses up above him on the left. And uh, Harold was, to this day, I'm good with him. He was just he was cool as a fan. You know what I'm saying? He was like your older version of him. Had he lived long enough, he would be your Hunter S. Thompson. Uh, 
He would be the Hunter S. Thompson of, of your own. He grew up in the South. He was a union man, big time. He actually would like party with Candy Crawley in the early days of her career on CNN. Right. Like, you know, he'd tell you stories. Grand Van Sons, just different stuff, you know? And then his brother connected because he grew up in California. Like, they migrated yeah. too. And then, you know, him, then like, I met Lester, his brother. Yeah. Who, Harold's brother. He would come down and like, we stayed for two or three weeks. Yeah. I like him. Actually, we all got down one night. We all were yeah. sitting pool, like, oh, drinking. Yeah. You know? We didn't even enjoy it. You know, she was normal then, but. And when I would literally put in, because he had serious sound like me to punch in songs, and I would put in Zeppelin like this. And he, oh, he liked it. Colonel Sanders dropping out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was like that. I told him, I said, quit wearing that gold man. man. I'm like, you're, you're just blasting your money, Harold. You dad, do the history. Yeah. I'm like, you know, he showed me these liquor cases that Gene Autry had bought. Him. With the pictures of, of Harold and his family. With them, they would take vacations and stay with his brother. And, yeah. and, 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 and he, uh, Gene Autry lived across the street from Bob Hope. Yeah. And there's pictures of him and Bob Hope and stuff. And uh, these liquor bottles, they're worth tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah. California's where it's at. Oh, yeah. Man. Definitely progressive. Yeah. Or. World War II bombed out areas of Europe, of, 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 of uh, the United Kingdom, right. you know what I'm saying? To where you had this. Right, <laughs> yeah. You had Greece, the Rock of Island, California. Right, yeah. Now, here's my thing. Is the, the, if we got all four editions of the Rolling Stone Record Guide, right? That would cover everything. Here's the eclectic things I would like to look up. Is Pee Wee Herman actually mentioned? Would he be mentioned in this guide? Whether through his movies, whatever his show, whatever. No, it's about music, not TV. Right. So yeah, you know, Pee Wee Herman never, never made a record. So. Yeah. Yeah. A guy. <laughs> but if you want to read the all four of those things, you know, they get locked up for a couple of years. Yeah. Well, no, nobody wants to get locked up and do it essentially. What is good to have is like a library of them. So that when you think of things and you want to know, you think of this modern era, this era, whatever, right. do they jump this part of, of genre of music, right. whatever? Because they will. My God, we know time is, the history has stood this time. That if they don't like something, my God, they don't like something. Right. And I put credence into unless now here's where I go really wrong. If it looks to me because the editors are in there, obviously contributing editors, the panel of them. If they progressively change from one yeah. year to the other, right? Then that makes me wonder. Unless their credentials are like spot on, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's but, hard to say. Yeah, but the the good news is it's intriguing. It's something published. You can read on pages yeah. that you can look at that yeah. covers literally for for this point in time 70, 80 years of music almost because they go back 20 or 30 years before this yeah. and they cover things yeah. Yeah. so therefore it's going to be yeah. 70, 80 years of music so and I appreciate that because yeah. they, they put as much effort and credence and stock no PC thing but they put as much effort into that as you say people that would interpret scriptures whether it be hebrew or right. or from the kings or whatever right so and i appreciate that you know they just don't have a hub of of your local tmz person or, you know, but they're too sensitive to it. it's it's people who are astute in the art or the genre of music right oh by the way speaking of sound and music the coolest thing and i gotta get this is great to hear this because this is the best music steve could ever play tonight Thanks, Steve. Right. I right. saw the video on YouTube. They have this genre of, they have these new type of, of uh, um, uh, hearing aids for the deaf, for children who are like infant, like, oh, yeah, like yeah. five, six, seven months old, and they put them in their ears and they actually record because they tell the families this is what's going to happen. They're going to hear sound for the first time and they always have the mothers hold them. Of course, the baby don't like them in certain, but it's small and tiny. And when these videos are of like one is like, watch the reaction to this baby. And for the first time they put it in, like the baby's fussing, and all of a sudden the mama says, Hey, 
Hey, and he's looking, he's looking at her, and he went first to like, and oh, then yeah. she gets the other one in, and he looks, and she's like, what? How are you? Are, did, did you not like that one? And the baby starts like getting emotional. Right. And yeah. then like, and then the other one was a dad holding the baby, and they put it in, and he, and, and he's singing a song, like yeah. whistling, and the baby is oh, enthralled. Yeah. It's like you're deaf for the seven years of your life, and all of a sudden you hear a, a, a song. Yeah. It's like hearing Zeppelin for the first time. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Any someone talking. You hear a sound. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's just amazing. You know. And the technology with the way they've done it is so small. And it's just, to me, that is so great. Because then, say you have a child who's blind and deaf, and all of a sudden they can hear, you can teach them things. They can hear you. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah. This is great. Happy Halloween, y'all. Happy Halloween. Oh, I'm a weatherman. Zeppelin too. Oh yeah. We all got it, man. Alright, brother. We'll cut right here then. Yeah, oh, man. Oh, Alright, guys. Yep. Yeah. We're out. Huh?